right, exponent rule number four is powers, raising um, variables that have exponents to a power or, uh, co or uh, coefficients that have a power. Now, this works only if it is all multiplication in between. You cannot do this, you cannot use the rule that we're, or the method that we're using here if you have addition and subtraction because then that would maybe make it a, a uh, trinomial or a binomial. Um, this only works for uh, multiplication or division. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna look at this. It says that we have three, three sets of 3a squared b. So let's write out those three sets. There would be one set, two set, and three set. One set, two set, three set. And so now we're just going to multiply it together like we did um, in the very first video. So three times three times three gives us 27. I'd have two a's here. Now you can write this all out. Uh, you could write A, 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 and uh, B, or you could count it. That is up to you. Um, we could write it out like this, 3, 3, 3, A, 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 B, 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 or we can count them. We've got two here, another two gives me four, another two gives me six A's, and then I've got one, two, three B's. And so that would be my answer, 27, a to the sixth, b to the third. Now let's take a look at example two. It's a little bit more involved. Um, we've got two sets of this 2x squared y to the fourth. So 2x squared y to the fourth, and I need two of those. And then I have three sets of this 3x squared y, 3x squared y, 3x squared y. And so now we can, we can pull all the numbers if we want. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 would give us 36. And 36 times 3 would give me 108. So I have 108. And then I have two x's here, two here, two here, two here, oops, two here. So two, four, six, eight, ten total x's. And I have four plus four is eight, nine, ten, eleven y. Uh, we would do that one. That's writing them out. Now, let's go a little bit bigger. If I were to have something like maybe, um, let's just do something with variables. If I were to have, well, let's pick a two in front of it. Two, a to the tenth, b to the, uh, let's say, fortieth, and I were to raise that to the second power. Well, how many would I have? I would have two twos. I would have two sets of 10a. So I would have a to the 20th. Or I'm multiplying those exponents. And I would have b to the two sets of 40 would be b to the 80th power. So I'd have 4a to the 20th to the 80. Now, the two rules that people confuse the most. If I have some number, and I'm going to go to the triangles, and I know that makes you um, all crazy, but we have to have the same base. So if I were to have a triangle raised to the m power, and a triangle raised to the n power, that's going to give me, we don't change the base, a triangle raised to the I would add the exponents, m plus n. Or x to the second times x to the third gives me x to the 2 
plus 3 or x to the fifth. Now, this will look different. That's the product rule. The power rule would involve parentheses, and it would be in raising it completely to that power. If I have triangle to the m power raised to the n power, that's going to give me triangle to the m times n power. Or if I had x squared raised to the third power, I have three sets of x squared, so that gives me x to the 2 times 3, or x to the 6. These two are the ones that people confuse the most. So I would recommend if you don't remember it, write it out. Or write out a sample um, so that you can see which rule, whether you add or whether you multiply. And that is the power rule.